We are back on a very special edition of Sportsline here on News Channel 5 Plus. I'm John Burton. That is Johnny Impact. This is the John Taraj. That's right. The John, I like that. The John Taraj. New tag team? Yeah. Hey, sell it. I, you know, I can bring it on. I can still take a bump or two once in a while. Well, good, because I'm not taking any bumps. Come on. <laughs> That's right. That's a I'll veteran be, move. I'll right be the there. vet of the tag team. You've got to be the vet of the newsroom. Johnny's going to be headlining the, the big uh, homecoming for Impact Wrestling coming up January 6th. It's on pay-per-view. You can still get tickets. It's at the Asylum, the fairgrounds where it all started back in the early 2000s. And uh, as we were talking about at the beginning of the show, this is really exciting. This is a great opportunity, not only for Impact Wrestling, but for the city of Nashville to kind of re-embrace something that the Jarrett started many moons ago. Absolutely. And um, did we promise uh, the viewers a little something before we went to break? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. We promised you the, the secret, the magic, <laughs> the magic pill, the only thing that you need to know to get shredded. Well, let, let's talk about that because, I mean, you, you know. You might have exaggerated. There's not, a, there's, <laughs> there's not like a tip or a, a pill or a trick that is a, it's a really easy way to get it all done. Yeah, but see, p p people see you. You got, you got the six-pack abs. You got, you know, you've got, you got an amazing physique. You know, I'm comfortable enough in my masculinity, I can say that. And you've been able to maintain it all these years despite traveling. Um, it's got to be tough, though. I it mean, is. To, get, to get your clean meals in, to get to the get to the gym, get your workouts in, get your sleep. I mean, the, uh, yeah, the, the I, I, I get it. There's no there's no secret. You just, folks, you got to train and you got to eat right. I'm a personal trainer. You just got to train and eat right and get your sleep. But there's got to be little tricks you can do when you're on the go, busy on the go like you are. You travel all over the country, all over the world. You still are able to maintain shape. Some of us, me, I travel, my body changes. So there's got to be a secret to that. Okay, here's a, a couple a couple of the tips and tricks. Okay. Um, first of all, the problem with getting abs is once you get abs, you got to keep them. <laughs> it's a, somebody told me that. Hard. He said it's a, it's a big responsibility, right? Well, if I, <laughs> because if you're somebody that's known for your abs. Right. You now can't, like, you can't now be if like, I, I show up to some place <laughs> and like, like the abs are gone. Oh, Johnny Impact got fat. Man, he let himself go. Yikes, he's over the hill. So, uh, so that's a tip. That's extra motivating yeah. for me. Because uh, legitimately, having a, a short-term goal is motivating. So, yeah. uh, say for me, January 6th, a couple of weeks away. Right. That means I know that I'm going to be uh, wrestling Brian Cage, who looks like a million bucks, right. in front of uh, hundreds and thousands of people right. um, viewing and in, there in person, pretty much wearing like a, some sparkly underwear, um, <laughs> albeit awesome sparkly underwear. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's not like you can conceal much, and that uh, in and of itself is, is very motivating for me. Okay. So um, the short-term goals is a uh, is to me like a uh, something that's very motivating. Mm -hmm. Whether that's uh, just taking pictures, you don't have to share them with anybody, mm -hmm. but of, of yourself to track your process or your your progress. Mm -hmm. But uh, something to keep yourself accountable and um, not having it be like a. Next year, I want to have that be the year I get ripped. It's like in three weeks or right. in two weeks, I want to like lose X amount of weight or I want to look this way. Right. That's a that's one. Um, man, I can go on and on about diet and fitness stuff. We all got day. we got time. I don't know how much but, time we got. Well, do you, do you do abs every day? I do. Okay. Yeah. Um, I I do abs and core. Uh, Every workout okay. is uh, un unless I am strapped for time, right? And then um, sometimes I, I cut them, just depending on. I kind of do a little bit of instinctual training now. Right. My uh, my full program is basically detailed on a website called Out of Your Mind Fitness. Okay. It's a functional training regimen, and um, my split currently is push, pull, and legs. I try to train my whole body twice a week. Okay. So that's uh, basically six days a week of resistance training. Right. And um, if you can get all that stuff done, you can uh, give yourself a little bit of leeway with your diet if you if you train that hard. Okay. But um, when you add like real life into the equation, <laughs> like uh, I'm trying to train six days a week on seven days a week sometimes. Okay. And usually like. And you uh, got a lot going on. I mean, you're a newlywed. You're moving into a house. You got all kinds of stuff going on. I was in on. Taiwan two days ago <laughs> oh, and I was home for eight hours. I'm wow. here. Um, there's there's stuff that goes wrong, and um, if if you're trying to train that much, usually the day that you take off um, is better to not plan. Yeah. It just comes up, like okay. a car trouble happens one day, or a, you know you're traveling, or you're you're working on something that needs like a 12-hour day, and um, if that happens every once in a while, and you're training that much, it's usually okay. Okay, what would you suggest? I mean, we talked about it during the break. There's a million diets out there, and a lot of them work. For someone to just, hey, I just want to get in a little bit leaner, 
have a little bit more muscle showing, like what would you recommend? Um, my my favorite trick is a uh, is an offshoot of carb backloading, okay. specifically a diet called the Renegade Diet. All right. And um, the the gist of it is, it advocates. Say you say we're starting at like dinner. Um, at dinner, say we're having dinner at like uh, seven eight p.m. Okay. We can kind of eat almost whatever whatever we want, carbs, fats, proteins, mm -hmm. all the good stuff. Even after dinner, you can continue to eat pretty much whatever you want up until the time you go to sleep. All right. The idea being the uh, the carbs spikes your insulin, um, replenishes your glyc glycogen, helps you sleep, and when you wake up, you don't feel like a zombie. Hmm. But from the time of your last meal to the time of your first meal, there should be a period of 14 to 16 hours of fasting. Okay. And when you so it's kind of like intermittent fasting. Basically, I yeah. did because I did intermittent fasting and keto during the summer, and I, I noticed a big difference. But then I, like I was telling you, I was like, all right, I'm, that's enough of that. I want to start eating carbs again. <laughs> so. Man, over, over the summer, I did some pretty severe fasting also. Yeah. A little something I call the Survivor Diet. <laughs> wow. Um, do you know I was on Survivor? I did know that. Oh, yeah. What was that like? Um, well, I got ripped. Let me tell you that. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't eat. You don't, you don't eat for 23 <laughs> days. You start grabs come in strong. So what did you do? Were you eating like nuts and berries or just living uh, off they, the land? Give what you were you rice. Doing? You have like a... like. I mean, come on. Seriously, the, the camera people, they don't slip you a sandwich once in a while. They're so strict about it. Come on. They'll lose their jobs come, if they slip you anything. Are you serious? Anything. Oh, yeah. And and like there was that's always I was like oh, here there you go, was man. times like, where I was we're like, not rolling right now we're just we're, just, we're here's I a hand sandwich I was so hungry a couple of times <laughs> that like I would wait for the camera guy to like put their pack down and then like go off and then like quickly like rifle through their pack just to see if they oh had a cliff bar or something yeah nothing the survivor diet folks I, yeah it's uh, but yeah anyway the experience was uh, was super authentic fun and um, I would uh, love to play it again maybe sometime absolutely um, well I, I would also imagine a lot of stretching. Um, a lot of, a lot of, I don't Stretching know if you do yoga, liberating, like I mean, a, it's got to be with the travel yeah. and, 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 you know, folks, you get into the ring and you work a match, you're going to feel it the next day and the day after that. I mean, it's very physical. It's a very physical form of entertainment. So I would imagine stretching and, and, and that kind of stuff has got to be big well, on the your schedule as well. The can't afford to be injured because <laughs> That's people right. are counting on us to put butts in seats. Let me tell you um, something. When the Jantaraj comes to town. You're not going to like what we have in store for you, or maybe you will. How's that for a promo? Oh, I like it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> if you're in the ring, you won't, but if you're in the seats watching, you will. But uh, so I guess your general, I guess. What so, would, so stretching, what would be, yeah, what, stretching is actually like stretching. detailed a little bit in the yeah. body mind fitness. Um, I like to do what I call dynamic warm ups. Yeah. And um, that's not necessarily like a old school stretching, mm -hmm. it's a movement based right. um, range of motion type stuff. And post workout is is usually when I do like what people consider more classical yeah. forms of stretching. That's kind of what I what I teach my clients or try yeah. to anyway. All right, we're gonna take another on the break. Same page again. Hey, Man. We're hey, the Jantaraj. <laughs> when we come back, the tag team we're gonna of the talk future. more with Johnny Impact, getting ready for the big Homecoming Impact Wrestling Show, January 6th at the Asylum. More with Johnny Impact. Stay with us.